Welcome to the Armenia campaign for Tbilisi at Impera 1.2.5. In the last part, we pushed up and took this region here, so we're working our way up the edge of the map. We've got one more settlement there, but I'm a little bit worried about pushing out too hard because that will extend my kingdom up round here. And I'm not too sure about these guys here, but if this is an easy capture, we'll go for it. If not, we will wait. Uh, looks like they've pulled an army back here and it's recruiting. And At your command. this army is okay. Ready right. for orders. Have army. Yeah. I suppose there's just not enough men in this unit area here. I think what we will do is just pull this army forward a bit. Next Make them look a little Lord. bit intimidating. I can't oh. see these coming out against us straight away because they're not a full strength army. And we're not going to get up here in one turn. I suppose what's the garrison like here? Oops. Uh, got a temple going. I think we'll get a bit of food in here. Uh, garrison. Yeah, they got a garrison of 20. Um, I'm not going to rush up to get that. I'd rather consolidate this position here because the real action is over here in fighting Parthia. Because they managed to kill one of my agents here. So we're going to push this agent up. As you command, my lord. And you I'd say, really like to push move. through and maybe take Kaith. My work is done. How can I be? So we're not going to get up there because, of course, it's autumn and winter's coming. So we're going to have restricted movement. At your command. Um, Ready I did get a message. I'm pretty sure that my army was. Uh, Hidden agent exposed successful diplomacy. I'm sure I had a message saying that my army was depleted, but military subversion. There we are. Your enemy champ champions' raids and harassment has diminished your troops. Ready for battle. Was that just because the? Oh, doesn't make sense. And of course, the other big event with the end turn is I sent my agent out it's a successful diplomacy you, we've now been given another region by Egypt in some ways they've given me the region that I want which is here because that actually pushes out this whole area here and it means that if anyone's sneaking through here to attack me it's going to be quite useful um, I think, well I think we're going to untax you keep everybody happy and uh, just going to my instinct is to go for garrison here over money and um, I certainly would like this as a recruitment center and we're going to knock that down because we're going to need to get some culture going here let's have a quick look yeah our culture is zero so, so our actual kingdom is growing south without us actually doing anything which is okay but it is a slight cause for concern and one thing I did do in the last video was we swapped generals and I've got a pretty good high level general floating around. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to recruit a general here. Let's see if we can find him. It's not you. Ah, oh, here we are. I mean, this because this guy's pushing on a little bit. And so I don't think, think he's got that much longer to live. So, so I think if maybe if we start raising a small army here good we'll just give him the necessary recruitments because we'll show you here he is 61 and I was I was also checking out my faction leader before I started where, where are you faction leader he is here he, he's 62 his wife is 72 and I've got a, a 40 year old Air. I don't really like that, so I'm kind of thinking maybe we can find someone who's a bit. We've got this guy here, Claire Air. I mean, he's pretty young. Let's see how, what other candidates we got. Okay, we've got him, and we've got him there. He's probably. He's 52. He's 21. And um, where was the other one? He's 17. He's probably a little bit too young. I think. 
things, but maybe this guy. I mean, I mean he doesn't have a lot of. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of authority, but we could get him into the battle and level him up a little bit and get him working. I mean, he looks he looks like a king in some ways, doesn't he? Yeah, I think we're. So, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna cause a little bit of upset. Because it's, it's going to reduce the gravitas and minus 20 the current air plus 20 yeah I think we're, we're gonna make him the air so he's gonna upset a lot of people but I, I'd rather have a young air that I can develop and get into the battles than an, an old air so what we can do is oh, we, we got nothing there line of sight maritime Authority. I want to give him something that will give him authority. Well, that's not too bad. Gravitas per turn. Authority. Most of these tend to give authority. I would like to boost up everything. One authority. No, I think it's going to have to be. Where's the one here? I'll give him that. Give him another authority. So, he, so he's got six zeal. Cunning, and we'll just have to see what comes up here. Gravitas for two turns, loyalty. Just want to make sure that hasn't really affected the yeah, political action. So now I've done that, what will probably happen is my uh, my faction leader will die the next turn or something like that. I kind of want to keep this army here. This army still needs to refurbish a little bit. So what we're going to do is we'll bring this army down here. We've got this leader here. And what I'm thinking is um, Simba here can lead the attack on this area here. And what we can do is drop in our new a new faction heir in, and he can get a little bit of experience. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got an agent, my new governor down here. Needs to be deployed. And so we've got our new leader over here. I mean, as long as the, the public order holds up here, I'll be quite happy just to leave this settlement alone. And, and of course, I've got this whole load of area here. Uh, Passes. us. Which I, because we had some banditry, I had to turn these off in order to save some money. So, um, yeah, we'll just get these switched back on. Most of these now are single provinces. I'm getting a little bit too many here now. And Batava here is. Big down. I'll start with you. Oh. Okay. Probably the effect of agents. We got here horses. Um, not particularly that impressed by that. War horses. I mean, that would take us to 1250. Oh, that's not a bad income, actually. So maybe we will go. I mean, the food situation's okay at the moment. We could get rid of this and put food in here later on. I mean, to be honest, when it comes to upgrading the cavalry, I think I'd rather go here and use this to level up. I mean, I mean the increase in rank on upon recruitment is useful, but. It's not going to be much longer before I'm not going to be recruiting over here, so there's not doesn't seem to be much point in that. Right, I've got my agents there, agents there. Um, and we've got a whole pile of money. Oops, what we got here? Got no sanitation here, so I think we're we'll drop a little bit of sanitation in here. Sanitation is probably a little bad. Once this expands, we can put the sanitation in here. That would probably. Um, 
well, eventually we can put the sanitation there. Well, we can always swap things around later on. Let's just have a quick look through so we can spend any money on things. We got this here. That will consume food. That will give me you know, an extra 200, not I need it. At the same time, you never want to be complacent with respect to building this up because your economy can swing out very quickly if you're not careful. You know, it doesn't take much for your economy to collapse in this game. <laughs> I've had it happen several times, right? Certainly want that temple up. Keep spreading the culture. Actually, let's have a quick look first. This is how active our culture is becoming. Yeah, I mean, we're up to 10% and still rising. And it's quite important to build the culture up like this because what will happen is that when we finally go to war with Egypt and Judea, having a high culture will mean that as we move into this area, these people won't be quite so upset. I'm just wondering about whether these... Let's have a look at the main... We might be able to get a trade deal. Am I always to be disturbed by foreigners? No, they're actually at war if with... If it is arms, you... They're actually at war with Egypt, so... I, I want to stay friendly with Egypt. <laughs> and, actually, we had a daughter come of age. Let me just... You really need to get married. Um keep the family tree even stronger than it already is. I think we could probably do here. Yeah, just get married. It shouldn't give me too much of a diplomatic penalty. Oh great. And gravit minus one gravitas per turn. That's actually gonna make my gravitas even worse. Okay, let's well, see if we can give him something that will increase his gravitas and offset that problem. Yeah we'll give him that. Same with you. I really need to go through these and if we can pump out authority when leading an army, yep. Nope. Percent research faction wide. That could be quite good actually. I mean it it won't uh I mean she doesn't really need the authority anyway because I've already maxed her out. So Quick look. You could probably do with getting married. I, I could really do with. Um, no, you're not old enough yet. You're inexperienced. Right, I'm, this guy's not married either. <laughs> Those uh, has got already got a child. This is one of the problems. The family gets so big that you. Oh, we got 15,000 left to spend, but I can't see anything we can spend money on, so we might as well just get. I'd love to smack these idiots. Ready for orders. Um, I think we're going to chase these away. Yeah. Ready for battle. Cav army. I'm going to bring the cav army up here, but. Ready I think we're going to get rid of these guys. They've just been a nuisance. I mean, they're probably going to run away. Yep. March. But yes, I know we're trespassing. Uh, I think we're just going to go for uh, an auto resolve on this. Yeah, ninety-two percent. Probably end up at war with Marv, but I'm just going to move you back. Wait. Hopefully he will recover. Well, he's not going to. But that gets rid of that trash on my border, which means that it gives me an option now for my cav army to be a bit more mobile. Although I'd love to get my cav army in operation up here. Maybe we can swap these round once. This has settled down. Anyway, let's go for an intern. Sham has got a. Ready for battle. Okay. Goodbye. New general. I, I 
really think you need movement range. Yeah. Over here. Um, campaign movement rain. range. So I'm just going to go for an enter. Yeah, hidden agent exposed. Missing supplies. Oh, here we go again in Mesopotamia. Comes of age, rather new political appointment, and we got a food shortage again. Pirates spotted. Yeah, this losing my food income in Mesopotamia is becoming a little bit of a problem. We've now got minus 16 again. Uh, so, what we're gonna have to do is right, um, take you out. What we got here, what would I what do I really want here? Armosia, yeah, there's not much point putting uh, supply pits in here. Um, cavalry, I mean, your public order is brilliant. I think maybe we'll go for an eastern spice trader, import well for more commerce 25%. I mean, this is a little bit on the end edge here. States of Kings, yeah, I think we could put a spice trader in there. Still got minus 12. So we have to switch off Almira again. Um, Plaza. Uh, one more. It's going to reduce my income right down, especially in the middle of winter. You're actually producing food. I'm going to have to turn off marker. <laughs> this is why having a nice big strong income. I'm going to have to do some work on food. Well, there's an option there. We can get that up. Now, the AI's done its usual dirty thing here. On the move. And pulled away. I'm a little bit reluctant to get Ready for sucked into this. So what we're going to do, and plus it's winter, so we're just going to move this move army up to here. I'm old. You can't, you're still not refurbishing. I think one army can, or we could use two armies. I mean, this is just a garrison. If an army's moved away, I mean, we've got six militia, five. S uh, it could be a fairly tough battle. I mean, we could set ourselves up for an easy battle by moving this um, horse archer army up, but I'd rather it replenish. Um, I don't want you stood in the middle of nowhere, and so you, you kind of just slide back to here. Uh, agents, just pick it up round Cape. Okay, the Parthia's got a couple of big armies here. You're up to strength. Right, you're both up to strength. We fight for you, my lord. You can come to here. At your command. Um, what is this? This is like a big cab type army. I love. Um, you, you can come to there. You can come to there. Ready for battle. I don't really want to draw them into. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cross the border. We um, fight for you, my lord. You Advance. Yeah. I just want to look threatening, but at the same time, I, I don't want to draw them into a face-to-face -face battle here because that would damage both these armies. What I would like to do is try and isolate one of them. It's just, just and silent. Uh, sidle you out a little bit this way. More. Can I assist you further? Wait, what's up with you? My lord. Oh. We got that there. We got forty-six thousand. My instinct is 
build this army up. We fight for you, my lord. Um, of course, if I come here, it's going to come round here, isn't it? So I think I'm going to bring you over this way down into Palmyra and see if we can get you some other units. Right, we got Cav in here. We'll get some sort of front line next. I don't think we can recruit anything else. Got a legionary spearmen. No. So get, get ourselves a front line. I'm just kind of building this arm out because I just got a feeling that we may need get a bit of a problem down here. Also, I think having an army here because we got this army up here as well, which I don't. One of these has got a bit of a problem as well, if I'm correctly. Oh no, you're, you've got a problem over here, minus 21. <laughs> it's probably because of the occupation, isn't it? Yeah, provincial and unstability. Plus, we've got a whole raft of these agents in here, causing in trouble. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. So we have to keep the cat horse archer army here. Um, Ready for orders. Can you recruit the, the, the good archers? Yes, you can. Right. Let's just get rid of you. You. One, Are two, you ready to three, serve? four. I think it's maybe time to kind of increase the capabilities of this army. Just in case there's any trouble up here. I mean, we don't have any enemies here at the moment, but you can never tell. There's, there's always a chance that some yosey bosey will kick off. But let me just have a look at this. Kind of half thinking about recruiting her. What are you? You're the. That's the Naza. You're 79, wow. You're 71. Year 44. See, there's a good chance I'm going to lose some of these generals. See, he's 79, he's 6, he's 39. We may actually lose some of these coming forward. And if I lose that, it's going to affect my income. <laughs> so many things to do, right? Uh, Religion in Arabia Magna. Bactria. Palmyra. Arza. we got here. Wine market. Which is a nice to have. Probably orders a little bit low. I think maybe we'll look for food. I want to keep that because that's on the, my frontier. Uh, Maka. You've got minus three. You're right down on the front line now, so I think we can get rid of the military barracks and keep the cab because I've got rid of you. But we've got this region growing now. I, mean, I do need to sort out some of these uh, military recruitment areas now because I do need the food. Um, Carver, yeah. We could probably do with some more food as well. Keep looking at this uh, military base. You're maxed out got to keep the military capability here. You've got 26. Uh, city garrison, where are you? You don't really need a city garrison here. The public order is good, so you've already, already got food here. So, um, we change this to anything that's I think if we change this to this, which then would come to this, isn't it, Gamesfield? So if we change this to this, 
take this down. We can get some, we got some logging here, so we can then develop that. Um, Syria, you're okay. Your public order is good. You're leveling up to level two. You should be there next turn. Asia. Again, I'm a bit reluctant to take down this area here just yet. Cappadocia. You really need a library in here. Eastern Bazaar. I think I'm going to convert you to a library because that will make me that will get my empire maintenance down so let me check my empire maintenance while I'm at it yeah we're 25.4 but I would like to get it a bit lower than that I think that's all we can do this turn so it's going to go for an end turn oops got another sign skills our uh, Maintenance, yes. Where can we go with the Empire Maintenance? Yeah. For an end turn. Okay, we've now completed research. We've got strengthened walls. The wall can never be so high or so strong. An agent exposed. We can cut our food back up again. Strengthened walls. That sounds military, but I don't think it actually is. There we are. Strengthened walls. So we've now got plus 5% wealth, more industry. Uh, and we can now build wells. 10% provincial capital. This one is complete. Uh, Eastern Spice Market, Seafood Market. I think I would like to take that up actually. So there's plus 4% wealth for more commerce. And that will actually give us a bit more food. Uh, just check the military. I can't, I'm not feeling it for any of that not fighting any naval battles at the moment no I think we're gonna go with that just to push this full well that would be nice but that would cost me a lot of money I think I'd rather spend the four turns getting access to the seaside market large bazaar um, okay, we've got a bit of a decision here yeah, plus eight sanitation all regions, yes, but we're gonna go with that. So that would give me the sanitation. Now Parthia has sent a couple of armies down here. I cannot continue, my lord. We've got this cab horse cab archer army here. I'd love to take this army out. I mean this army isn't brilliant. My lord! Don't be kidding me. I can't. I can get him with Ready this army. My lord! They'll probably reinforce. The trouble is, I don't. We fight for you, my lord. This is sham. I mean, it's pretty good. We're a pretty elite army. And they've got a lot of cab though. So, and lots of horse archers. This could be I mean I, I really need Ready my cab army. Um Both of these he's he's fortified, but that means he can still come at us. I think what we can do is command. we're going to go in with this army. Our honor and, great glory. and we're going to go for a night attack. That knocks those out. Yeah, and of course we're going to fight this because I don't want to take the casualties. And what we can do is we could damage them and then retreat. Start deployment. Um, don't like the trees. We're gonna, gonna fight in the open. What are your orders? Um, don't 
got cab. Now, the big problem's going to be their cab, because they're probably liable to come out of us. So, what we're going to do is form a, a defensive block. Oops. So we're going to go into a little bit of a box formation to start with. Guns all bare. Armoured horse archers up with you right we've got the heavy archers now they're bound to come in on our flanks so I know it looks a bit odd but there's a good chance the AI will come out at us if they don't we will advance forward in this kind of box formation advance forward I mean, in some ways, if they stay inside the settlement, I'll be quite happy. You. Yeah, they're coming out. So your job is going to be... ...becomes the cav. We should be able to get into position. Here, horse archers, yes. Archers! We await your orders. Quickly now. Our aim is true. Archers! Our hidden units have been discovered. Armored horse archers! I mean, a lot of this is light missile cav, so we should we be able to. But we need to absorb and get rid of their okay. You switch your attention to those. Right, they're showing the hand on this flank too. Cav in this army. Right. I need to. Get rid of that. You. Get rid of this light missile, Cav. Units has used all its ammunition. What are your orders? Advance it to me. Grenade battery ready. You come this way. Right, horse archers. Go out and support that side. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get that super heavy shot gap. You turn your attention on those. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right. You into their archers. It's my super heavy. Right, we've got these guys pinned. Um, you that way. How are we doing? When, how much how are we doing for casualties? General is under attack. Yep, General out. Right, up the cab. Units has used all 
its ammunition. E push on to those. I just love this game sometimes. Right. You push through push through the center. Right, they're gone. You I want them that light cap destroyed. I think these heavy archers make a vast difference. Right. I'll be killing quite a lot of my own troops here. Archers, you fire into the backs of those. into the backs of those you get over and support your general one of our units has used all its ammunition keep firing on those general on general Firing on those. Uh, Fire into those. You come over and support your. You come and just support this. into the backs of those. You come to those. You come to the backs of those. Those archers. You push through there. I can use these at a pinch. I really need some heavy shot cav. You get over here. I think we've got enough troops ganging up on this lot. Cataphracts get out. And I really need the horse archers operating. There. Where are my horse archers? Time to kill. There's my other armored horse archers back against these guys. No, you shouldn't charge. Got these squashed. Orders, my lord. Um, you give them a welcome. Archers, you pull away. Wait, you. The enemy general is okay, dead. got the general. Um, let's do a quick little bit of clean up. Let's just make sure. Right, that's fine. Get away from them. Six of those left. Hey, over here. Keep away from that fort. Right, we're just gonna kill this lot. If you're firing, cut it out. Did pretty well. One of the units took. I think, 
think that would be it. Quick battle, end battle. We lost 437. We completely wrecked this army. I think these heavy archers really stood the test. Slave, kill the captives. Uh, I think we got the money, so we'll just kill the captives. You're broken as a force. Ah, we can't get to them. Right, what I want to do is we're just gonna bring you up. Advance your next yeah. command, my lord. At your Actually. command. How may I serve you get over here. So you're out of the way. Unseen, my lord. I lord at your command. I'm afraid we cannot. Um. Ready for orders. We're just going to push on this guy. I can't see him attacking two of these armies at the same time. And of course, up here we've got this. And we're going to come straight in here. And they've got a lot of. Right, I think we can get this battle in. Gonna fight this battle. I mean, we got cab superiority. They've come out on the field. They're dead. I mean, we've got cab superiority. Where we've got massive missile capability as well. Um, their their skirmishers could be a bit of a problem. Start deployment. And we're just getting to get to the point now where you can say Parthia rules. I'll just have you protecting the flanks. Yeah. I mean, one of the reasons I didn't bring the Cav Army along is that if I put the Cav Army along, it probably would have got pinned down trying to defend the, the stationary army. Although, to be honest, it probably doesn't really make that much difference. Uh, I just have the archer combination. Each flank. Just to spread the capabilities. I don't really have that much in the way of heavy infantry in this army. We need to fix that. Again, we'll just space out the swordsman. And that just leaves. I think what we'll do is we'll have. Um, you work with the general on that flank, and I think we can force archers out there. Now they're probably going to come at us, so. Do not let yourselves be unmanned by these reptiles. Um, <laughs> I mean, they might take a defensive position. Let's just see if we can find them. Well, generally, the AI will charge an army with artillery. There they are. In goes the artillery. You out on this flank looking to get behind. You could probably straighten the line a little bit for some reason. Their cav is in the center here. And it's already taking a beating. I think they're probably going to try and wrap round us. So we're just going to put you there. And we'll hit you on the skirmish. He's been a bit derpy here, by like having its cavalry in the centre. Archers, archers, 
friend. You get rid of that cab. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Down to charge. Right, they're definitely trying to wrap round us. Uh, it's not going to work. got a surprise for you. Just draw that unit away. You just keep pulling them away. The men are wavering. Yeah, that's good what I'm saying. Around the back there. We await your orders. Um, our general is under attack. Yep. Right, we're losing our. Ah. Right, they've gone. It's, it's annoying. Probably have to replace those. General. I think it's time for you to. I think their skirmishers are having a problem. I lost control of the cab here. Well. Um. Ballistas. I should have brought. Maybe I should have brought my. Armoured horse archers in. Right. We need to start breaking some of these flanks. Hey, stop running around. Right. General up here. Archers. Right, we're going to have to try and roll them up from this side. Right. Right, we're rolling up this flank. the fire in there, we're probably going to end up killing our own troops, but can't really see. Swordsman, in. Right, they've gone. Cataphracts out. It's not as going as well as I was hoping it would be. Their skirmishers completely wrecked by front line. Okay. 
general. Like they're breaking. Armored horse archers come and support this flank. General. Right, they're broken. Horse archers. Kill those. End battle. Wow. That was expensive. A lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I mean, nearly lost one of my spear units. We probably lost an archer unit as well. Then we're probably going to have to replace them with the the, the higher tier um, heavy archers. And goes. And just going to occupy. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Can you recruit here? I think I'm just going to merge you up. And I think these spearmen aren't as good as they think they are, but yeah, attack. I mean, the defense is really strong, but I think I'd rather bring in the, some of these Thorax swordsmen in. And actually, um, not enough manpower. Thank you. And of course, I've messed that up now because I've uh, cancelled it and we put it back. One of the annoying things with the game. Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind some. We've got, we've got some horse archers. What have we got here? Sogdian camel raiders. Riders. Range 165. Missile damage. Yeah. But elephants. I mean, part of me says more, more cav. I mean, what we got here? A mercenary band. Yeah, I've messed that up completely. Haven't I? What are these? These are attack. Um, I mean, these got quite an impressive an listing. Coast. So I think maybe the if we add some of those man. temporarily to the army until the manpower recovers. Okay. So we've actually got. A barracks here that could be useful. Get some food going. We've got fifty-three thousand to spend. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look at my buy. So, I certainly would like to get some food in here. Actually, what's that? Fishing boats. Um, fishing. Fishing. I mean, that would be good, but the moment I need the food, maybe we can convert that later on. So I'm going to get the food in here. So you want the temple up. And can we get a bit more cash flowing. Let's have a... Oh, so take that up. And that'll give me a bit more cash. Certainly would like to turn Palmyra boats on an army. Okay, we've got a lot of these. Let me just do this first. Let's just get the complete provinces back operating. Give me some money. Bactria. Okay. These are all a bit of a bust, so. Right. Um. Get that in there. Deal with the sanitation for a little while. And that will give me a bit more wealth from agriculture. Oh, we have to uh, pop that. Mesopotamia. Yeah, we certainly want this. I think we go all the way through and upgrade all these. I've done you, Syria. Um, I mean, the sanitation would be off the charts here now, so I think we want here. Can we convert this to something? We got. We can't. We can't go to food. What we could do is go for. 
What's this? Cavalry three minus. I think I think in the short term we're going for that. That could be well a bit more wealth, a bit more food. And, and I think we'll go food here and pick you up. Oops. As well. Down to seventeen thousand. Plaza, you're okay. Almira, you're cooking. Right, I want that up and that up. And, and I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we will continue the push on Kaith there. And I think in the short term, we're just going to consolidate our position here. I think what we will do is bring this agent out to about there. I go. There so is honor just to keep an eye so that if say they these try to send an army through to here or well, that's rebuilding we can send the cav army up in defense by brother this cav army refurbish but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming